morning, kids. This is the last Sunday in April, and all month we've been talking about the cross and how Jesus died on the cross. And last week, all these flowers appeared on the wall around our cross in the sanctuary and gave us a beautiful, epic, and joyous way to celebrate Easter because. Dying on the cross was not the end of the story. Jesus came alive again, and he walked, and he ate, and he was seen by hundreds of people. Wouldn't you love to have been alive back then and gone to have a fish breakfast on the beach with the alive again Jesus? Well, actually, fish for breakfast? Probably not for me. Um, but anyway, one thing I love about Jesus dying on the cross is that he did it willingly. It was really hard, but he didn't have to do it. In John 10, 18, it says, Jesus says, no one takes my life from me. I give it up willingly. And around the time he was arrested, in Matthew chapter 26, verse 53, Jesus said, don't you know that I could call on my father for help? And at once he would send me more than 12 legions of angels. He, Jesus chose to go through with something hard because he loves us, all of us, each and every one of us. In John chapter four, verse 19, it says, we love because God first loved us and gave his life as a ransom for many. Now, I want you to imagine one of your favorite people in the whole world, somebody you really, really love. You have them in, in your head? I want you to imagine the things you love about them. Maybe it's how their eyes look or how they walk or how they dance or how they tell jokes. Imagine how much you love them. Feel that love that you have for them. Now close your eyes and think what it feels like. That strong love, how does it feel? Okay, open your eyes. When God thinks about you, that's the way he feels. You are a one-of-a-kind special person. There is no one else on the whole planet exactly like you. And God just completely loves you. He loves everything about you. He knows your strengths and your weaknesses, what you do well, what you don't. He knows what your favorites are. And he just completely loves you so much that heaven wouldn't feel like heaven without you there. So Jesus went through the hard cross all the way through to Easter resurrection so that you could be part of his forever family. And that's something to celebrate. Hmm. Have a great day.